Pongal is celebrated in India, especially in Tamil land, as an agricultural and a harvest festival. The festival marks the end of the chilly winters and when the Uttarayan commences. This entails that the sun begins to move towards the north. It is more commonly referred to as Uttarayan Punnekala, which is a very auspicious occasion. If you go by the Tamil calendar, it is celebrated for four days, the first of the four being the last day of the Margaji or Margashish month, which falls on December to January. It ends with the third day of the Thai, which falls on January to February. So, if you follow the Gregorian calendar, Pongal falls around the 12th to 5th of January. Now, how is Pongal celebrated? The Pongal festival is celebrated for four days. Let us find out how each day of Pongal festival is celebrated. First day is called Bogi Pongal, where people worship the sun god or Surya Devta and Mother Earth. The first paddy harvested is cooked to make rice, that is boiling milk with rice. This is also the special dish for the occasion. The second day is called the Perum Pongal or Surya Pongal. This is the most important day of the four days where Surya is worshipped along with his consorts Chaya and Samaganya. People wear new clothes on this occasion and it is customary to light a fire and throw all the old and torn clothes into it. They also get an oil massage before bath. The third day is called the Matu Pongal, where the animals involved with the agricultural community or practice like cattle are worshipped. They are cleansed, bathed, massaged and dressed in vibrant colored attires made especially for them. The fourth day is called the Kanum Pongal. On this concluding day, people pay a visit to their relatives and friends. Puja is performed by the women of the house praying for the well-being and prosperity of their brothers. An interesting custom is to leave some cooked rice or banana leaves for the birds to feast on. Finally, if you look at the festival from a very practical point of view, you will find that it has huge relevance due to the fact that the sun, mother earth and cattle are worshipped. Tamil Nadu is a state that is devoid of any perennial water resource and so people invoke the blessings of the sun and rain gods asking for their benevolence. The most common ritual uh, related to Pongal is to clean the house and the entire area where you are living. All the members of the family get together, take a bath early in the morning on all the four days of the festival. There is the traditional attire for the women in South India, that is the half sari and lehenga and angavastram for men. Kolam is an important ingredient of the Pongal which is made of rice flour paste and water or milk or coconut water. The white paste is extremely holy and people may add colors to this column to make colorful designs. The entrance and also the inside of the house and the puja area or room are decorated with this paste. Having sugar cane is another custom during the pongal. Exchanging of gifts is also a vital aspect of this festival and is observed by every member of the society.